We are given the second order linear homogeneous differential equation, and we're asked to find two solutions on the open interval from zero to infinity, and then also state the general solution. Analyzing the differential equation, notice how there is no y term in the differential equation, which means one solution would be y1 equals any constant, which we'll call c. If y1 is equal to c, notice the first and second derivatives are both zero, which would satisfy the differential equation. Because there is no y term in the differential equation, we don't have to go through the entire process for reduction of order. We can perform a substitution by letting w equal y prime and w prime equal y double prime. This will convert the given second order differential equation to a first order differential equation, which we can then solve for w. And then since w equals y prime, we can integrate w to determine y, which will give us the general solution. Performing the substitution, we have x squared w prime minus xw equals zero. We can solve this using separation of variables. Let's first write w prime as dw dx. Let's also add xw to both sides. This gives us x squared times dw dx equals xw. Now we will multiply both sides by one over w and also multiply both sides by one over x squared. This gives us one divided by w dw dx equals x divided by x squared. Notice the right side simplifies to one over x. We can also think of multiplying both sides by dx, which gives us one divided by w dw equals one divided by x dx. And now we integrate both sides of the equation. Because we're solving over the open interval from zero to infinity, we can leave off the absolute values when integrating. The integral of one divided by w dw is natural log w equals on the right, we have natural log x plus a constant, which we'll call plus c sub one. And now we need to solve for w. To do this, we'll exponentiate both sides of the equation with the base of e. Simplifying, e to the power of natural log w simplifies to w equals on the right. We have e to the power of natural log x times e to the power of c sub one. e to the power of c sub one is just some constant we'll call c sub two e to the power of natural log x is equal to x. We have w equals c sub two times x. And remember w is equal to y prime, which means y is equal to the integral of c sub two x dx, giving us y equals c sub two times x squared divided by two plus c sub three. This actually is the general solution to the differential equation, but we can let c sub two divided by two equal a constant, let's say c sub four, and write the general solution as y of x equals c sub four x squared plus c sub three. So this is the general solution. And remember, if two solutions are linearly independent, then the linear combination of those two functions give us the general solution. So this c sub three is really the solution that we found at the beginning, y one equals c. And a second solution would be y sub two equals any constant times x squared. If we let the constant be equal to one, we can now say the second solution is y two equals x squared. Where again, y one is equal to any constant indicated by c. So here we have the general solution. And here we have two solutions to the differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.